Okay, so we're going to touch on RLC circuits. The obviously R being resistor, the L being the inductor, and you guessed it, the capacitor or the C being the capacitor. Okay, so what is an RLC circuit? It's a circuit that consists of all three of these. So a typical one you'd see is, you know, you'd have an AC signal there. there. So here you got your R, you got your L, you got your C. So the main thing to note, obviously, when it comes to dealing with these circuits is that we're obviously dealing with impedance, right? And we're not dealing with resistance anymore. But when we're looking at impedance, the impedance of the resistor is just R, right? Okay. Now the impedance of the inductor is going to be two pi F L or the reactance, I should say of the inductor two pi F L and the reactance of the capacitor is going to be one over two pi F C where obviously two pi and then you've got F being the frequency of the AC voltage source. And then the L being the value of the inductor in Henry's or C be in the value of the capacitance in farads. So when it comes to us calculating the impedance for RC circuits, then what we do is we do the impedance is equal to R, meaning the resistor, minus J X C, right? And for the inductor, the impedance is R plus J X C. So this J is referring to the magnitude. Now the XC is the reactance value in ohms for the capacitor. Sorry, I put XC, but it should be XL here. So the XC is the reactance value for the capacitor and the XL here is the reactance value for the inductor. So the key thing to note here is that for the capacitor, we've got a minus when it comes to the reactance for the capacitor. And here for the inductor, we've got a plus. So what we've just mentioned here is for a purely RC circuit or an RL circuit, okay? So when we're dealing with RLC circuits, which is what we're talking about today, then the impedance is different, right? So the impedance is gonna include both of those. So this time the impedance is gonna be the resistor plus JXL minus JXC. So if we've got a circuit with both a capacitor and an inductor, then you're plusing the reactance of the inductor and you're subtracting the reactance of, of the capacitor. Okay, so we can obviously then just factor out the J. So that means that we have impedance is equal to R plus J and then in brackets XL minus XC. Just make sure that's an actual L. And so now here we have our formula for calculating impedance in an RLC circuit. Now, one thing that we should probably mention just briefly, and then we'll cover it in, an, in, a, in another video, is that you have something called resonance. So what resonance is when you have a capacitor and an inductor in a circuit, and they at a certain frequency cancel each other out. So wh the way that that works is when you have an inductor and you have a capacitor, right? In terms of their phase, you should know that the inductor has a plus 90 degrees phase and the capacitor has a minus 90 degrees phase. Okay. Which is why over here, we're subtracting for the capacitor and we're adding for the inductor. So what this means, because they have a plus 90 degrees phase and a minus 90 degrees phase, if they have different values, this is important to know, if they have different values, then they can partially cancel each other out. Okay. Now, if they have the same value, this is when they can completely cancel each other out. So we'll go into this in more detail in future, but the key thing to know is that you've got two types of RLC circuits. The first one being a non-resonant circuit. Now, this is when the inductor and the capacitor are of two different non-equal values, right? And then the second one that you have is a resonant circuit. The second RLC circuit that you have is a resonant circuit. And that's when the L and the C are equal. And as long as you, as long as you know this, you'll be fine. You don't really, I mean, you could go a lot, you could go a lot deeper into this, but knowing this, you should be fine. So in the next video, we'll do an RLC 
example where we'll give uh, this circuit over here some values and then we will calculate voltage and um, current current in the circuit and then also voltage across the resistor the inductor and the capacitor so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video